So the book's called Good Muslim Boy because um, I'm a really good Muslim boy. <laughs> no, because it's being good when I grew up, being good was the main thing. Like, be good, be good. And everyone, I think, is told to be good. And you'd think it's hard to be good in Australia where, you know, everything for a Muslim, definitely Australia, you think it's really hard to be a Muslim here. But even back in Iran, where I was born, it was probably just as hard because although all the women had scarves and, you know, we still found ways to uh, see what was underneath those scarves. So, um, so it was the idea of, yeah, going against really the meaning and having a double, double meaning behind So it. good Muslim boys, yeah, it, it, ta it, it, it starts with, you know, growing up in Iran and and just getting up to what all the other kids were getting up to, selling fireworks to make money, um, chasing girls like other kids, except that it was Iran. I was living in one of the holiest cities uh, in the world, like the Vatican of the Muslim world. So it meant, um, you know, we boys were always segregated and, and uh, getting up to no good was just the daily life, basically. So, adjusting to Aussie life, um, you know, then growing up, going to uni, well, not really going to uni, faking going to uni, um, getting arranged um, marriage, the arranged wedding. Uh, I was arranged to be wed for a whole year, and then I got married, and on my wedding night, I ran away. Um, and then I went to, into hiding for three months. Uh, then yeah, I did Saddam a musical, went to America, we got deported because my name's Osama and I barrack for the bombers. Um, and yeah, there's different stories in between as well, as well as um, the story of going back with my father for one last trip to Iran and um, it was an amazing trip. We spent the most amazing time together and then he just suddenly passed away at the age of 50 and then the week following that was really the week that I think defined my life in a way um, because that's when I tried to get him um, back to Australia and um, what had to go wrong or could have gone wrong went wrong. I, I wanted, yeah, I wanted, yeah, I wanted a different voice but not for the sake of it being different. Um, that's just the, my writing style but as a voice um, to, as a voice to yeah, I, I wanted to be like, hey, the, we're, I'm a Muslim, and these are the Muslims, and um, and we're just like you, you know. We're not perfect either, and we love and and laugh and lie and cry, and but but it, it's that feeling that um, it, it's just we're human, you know. It happens to be that I'm born elsewhere, and there's the cultural um, elements surrounding. Uh, at that make me who I am, but really I'm no different than the guys I play cricket with, you know, or, or, or anyone else who, who after I speak to them, we find out that we just have the same needs and wants and we just want to live and be happy. Um, so yes, yeah, so I really wanted that to come across, that I'm just another human being, probably just like you, and, and yeah, we're all, we all can be happy together, you know, so that's, yeah, I think that's